Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited about this video because I have partnered up with Juvia's Place to bring you a review on their new I Am Magic foundations and concealers. I've already heard amazing things about these products so I am super excited to try them on my face and to give you my own opinion about it and see how they work for me and they also sent me their new palette so I'll be doing an eye look with this palette as well if you want to see my review on the foundations and the concealers and you want to see the look that I create with this palette keep watching I have nothing on my skin I have my eyebrows on I have some mascara just to kind of open my eyes for this video but other than that I have nothing on my skin and my skin's been super dry lately so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I would do with any other foundation. I'm gonna first moisturize my face. I need all the hydration I can get because my skin gets so dry in the summer. So this is how the packaging looks. And then the bottle looks like this. I personally love that it's like in a little um, bottle like this because I know for a fact that I can travel with this and it's not glass so I know it's not gonna break all over my makeup. And I can also just, when I'm done, I can just take this off and squeeze everything that I can squeeze and also I know it sounds crazy but I can cut through this and use whatever's in there and, and you get everything out of your product. I'm gonna go ahead and try the color 550 Martinique. Martinique. I hope I'm saying it correctly. It's, if I wasn't using a full coverage foundation right now I would go in to all my little blemishes and under my eyes to kind of color correct but I'm not gonna do that today because I just want to see how good this foundation covers everything so let's go so I'm gonna go ahead and go in right in this area first so I can see if it's gonna cover my blemishes and my discoloration right here so let's do it oh my god oh my god so it's definitely covering everything oh my god so I'm gonna do one set of my face with foundation to kind of compare how it looked I can't even believe how much of a full coverage foundation this is hey. I kind of went a little over the half of my face but this side has foundation and this side doesn't so I just can't even believe how much of a coverage this foundation gives. It's just, I can't even stop looking at myself. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my face now. The foundation is on. Um, I mean, I think it speaks for itself. I'll probably look super creepy and like just with foundation on but we're gonna warm it up so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the concealers and they sent me two of their concealers one to highlight and conceal and the other one to contour and this is what the packaging of the concealer looks like and the bottle looks like this I really really love the coral color and the packaging is so pretty this is in the color 20 and I'm gonna use it to conceal and highlight <laughs> concealer is definitely concealing um, it's very high coverage I don't think it's as high coverage as the foundation but it definitely has good coverage it's also like hydrating it's not as matte as the foundation I had a very bad undersurface at the beginning of this video so there's definitely nothing to see here the mixture of the foundation and the concealer together is just perfect and I'm obsessed with this combo already. So the concealer is on now. I'm gonna add some colors to my face. I look so pale. To cream contour, I'm gonna use a darker concealer from the Juvia's Place, and this is in the color 10. And I'm definitely gonna bring some color into my face right now because I just look so pale. So I'm gonna put it everywhere that I would usually cream contour already. I do little dots like these. Blend that out. Oh 
Okay, so my foundation, my concealer, and my cream contour is on. This was all from Juvia's Place. My face looks flawless. I legit cannot stop looking at my stuff. I love how the concealer is not super matte. It still gives me hydration. It gives me coverage. It blended out beautifully. The foundation, it didn't set into my pores. It's not setting into my little fine lines. And of course, it gave me amazing full coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face with um, powder because... Regardless of what foundation I use, I always use powder. Juvia's Place Coral Palette, and this is how it looks. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. And this is gonna be my transition color. I'm gonna go in with this color I'm going for a cool tone kind of look today so I'm going to put that color right into my crease concentrating most of the color at the end of my eye and then whatever's left I bring it up and right there this dark chocolate color I'm adding this brown color to the outer part of my eye I'm going to blend these two colors together now. I'm going to go back in with this color right I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. This color all over my eyelid. I love the formula of this eyeshadow. It makes my eyelids look wet. For blush, I'm going to use this color right here. Back to my eyes and with this color, I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. Connect it to my lower lash line. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I did the rest of my makeup off camera. Now I'm going to give you my final thoughts and review on these concealers and this foundation. The foundation is definitely, definitely 100% my new favorite foundation. It just covered everything. It didn't go into my pores. It didn't go into my fine lines. I used a very small amount, which means that this foundation will probably last you for a very, very long time. It's 100% full coverage. I think this foundation is the most full coverage foundation I've ever used. It blurred me out. I am just in awe and sh I'm literally in shock. I can't believe that it's 20 bucks. I'm just in shock with this foundation. The fact that I don't have to color correct and it covers everything and it's gonna save me time is another reason why I am so obsessed with this foundation. So this is definitely approved by me and I definitely, definitely recommend and I love it so, so much. So that is my review on the Eye Magic foundation. On the concealer, I said it just like how I said any other concealer. What I liked about this concealer was that it was hydrating. It wasn't super matte. It gave me a little hydration, which I definitely need because I have normal to dry skin. Also really brightened under my eyes. A lot of concealers, after you set them, they kind of dull out. With this one, I didn't have to use an eye brightener or anything. This is just the concealer I use set with the same powder that I use with every concealer. It's not too thick, it's not too watery, it's just an amazing formula and I am so grateful for companies like Juvia's Place that make affordable makeup that is actually amazing and not a lot of makeup companies do that anymore. The formula in both of these are just so amazing so I definitely, definitely recommend and I'm super obsessed with them. Look at my face, it just looks airbrushed, it just looks flawless. I am just so obsessed with this foundation and this concealer. And lastly, um, I really enjoyed this palette. I definitely recommend their eyeshadows as well. And that is it for my review. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'll be back with another video soon. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And leave me some comments down below. And I will see you soon with another tutorial. Bye-bye.